Hi, I'm Lori Bolenbach, and we're here at Michigan's Adventure. I'm the Director of Marketing here, and I just wanted to tell you a little bit about the park today. Now, Michigan Adventures has both roller coasters and water attractions, that's right? Yes, our tickets include our amusement park and our water park. We have seven roller coasters, thrill rides, family rides. We have um, a water park with body slides and tube slides and family raft rides and three wave pools. Now, with the water park, you do have life pre preservers, correct? Oh, we provide life jackets for anyone that would like to use one, yes. And explain the tube, tube rental. Uh, well, any ride that requires a tube in our water park provides free tubes. But if you'd like to rent a tube to use in the wave pool, you're welcome to do that. We rent single tubes and double tubes at our tube rental building. Now, how long has Michigan Adventures been here in Muskegon? Well, we've been here since 1956, but we were Deer Park Funland. And then in the early 80s, we changed our name to Michigan's Adventure. Now, what are some of the newest attractions here so far? The newest attractions here would be our new Lakeside Gliders Ride, which is a flying scooter attraction over near the front of the park. And then um, just in the last five or six years, we've added the Thunderhawk over here on the other side of the lake, the Funnel of Fear that's down the walkway here. So several different rides have been added. Grand Rapids is in the back corner. That's a river raft ride. Now, this is owned by Cedar Fair. What are some of the other theme parks that Cedar Fair owns? Cedar Fair owns parks in California's Knott's Berry Farm, um, Canada's Wonderland. We own um, Worlds of Fun, Dorney Park, Carowinds, Kings Island, Kings Dominion. So um, a whole bunch of parks throughout the country. And that includes Cedar Point as well? Cedar Point, Valley Fair, which is where the name Cedar Fair came from. Nice. Now behind us, we have swan boat rides. We do. The swan boats are here. You can see the ripcord ride, Adventure Falls, our catering area. And then over to the right is Thunderhawk and the Wolverine Wildcat. Now, do they have group sales if somebody wants to have, say, a birthday party here? We have birthday parties. We have group rate tickets. We also have catered events for companies, family reunions, church groups. So we offer a package for almost every size group. Nice. Now, if you were coming to Michigan Adventures for the first time, what would be three for sure things that you would check out? Well, I would definitely ride Shivering Timbers because that's a signature coaster. It's very unique. Um, I would also ride Zach Zoomer, which is a coaster over here on the other side, which is a junior sized coaster. And what makes it so interesting is the queue lines are junior sized, the trains are junior sized. And then I guess if I had to choose one other thing out of everything, I would probably choose something in the water park so I'd go with Funnel of Fear. And as you can see, it's just huge and it's a lot of fun and a lot of water. Now, as far as food goes, what would you recommend as a place to eat? My place to eat here is Coasters. It's our 50s diner. They serve hamburgers and shakes and malts and french fries so it's very much themed in the 50s style. Now next to us this is an all-you-can-eat buffet. Yes, Family Grill is all-you-can-eat. Um, they serve hamburgers, hot dogs, bratwurst, mini corn dogs, chicken nuggets, so a whole variety of things. It's a great picnic style area. And they're open every day for almost the entire day so you can choose the time, go up there and eat till you're full. And the price is actually pretty decent on this too. It is. I too. believe it's about $10.29 for adults and $4.99, $5.99 for children, three to six. So it's a great deal. Yeah, the, and that's soft drinks definitely are, not going to break the wallet yeah, either. Yeah, and your soft drinks are included also with that price. Great. Now, as we wrap this up, what are some of the things that people can look forward to coming up? Do we have anything in the works for next year, for example? Well, we always have things in the works, but until they're officially announced, we can't talk about them. But um, as always, we'll continue to offer season's passes, which I think as the park continues to grow is a great benefit for people. Um, we offer specials to our season pass holders. Yeah. And then hopefully, I would say, you know, look for some expansions, maybe in our water park. Um, Everyone asks us to put in a big steel coaster. I can't tell you if or when that'll happen, but there's always something new. Like I said, this year it was the lakeside area over here with the new gliders in it. Now, one last question. Here they do not have 
the hollow weekends, right? We do not. We close our water park on Labor Day and then our amusement park is open for just one weekend after that. But your sister park does, right? Our Cedar sister Point? parks have Halloween events, yes. Nice. So for those catching us late in the season, they can still hop over to one of the right. Cedar Point parks. Right. And what's parks. great is if you had that season pass we were talking about, if you buy the platinum version, you can visit our park and Cedar Point and it does run all the way through the hollow weekends over there. Very nice. All right, Lori. Well, thank you so much for telling us everything. Is there anything else we should add in? No, you should just come and visit us. It's going to be a great summer. August is a good time for us, so come down and visit. All right. Thanks so much, Lori. You're welcome.